Good afternoon. We're here in Watchland, that is the factory of Franck Muller, the watchmaker, in Gento, just outside Geneva. I'm with Nicolas Rida, who is the CEO of the company, and he's going to answer a few questions about this quite intriguing company. With pleasure. Well, welcome to Watchland, and it's uh, very nice to have you with us. Franck Muller is, uh, what is it, the most famous of young brands or the youngest of famous brands? Whatever. Well, it's a little bit of both, but um, Frank Miller was the first uh, watchmaker to uh, launch such an, an incredible um, a success story back in '92, and today uh, he's still here to tell the story. Is there is there room for new watchmakers today? Well, I think there's uh, room for lots of different watchmakers in this world, of course, and every watchmaker has its uh, particularity. And this is what made the strength of Frank Miller being very different uh, to the other watchmakers. Uh, back in 92 and still today, uh, producing uh, unique designs and unique complications never seen um, in other watchmakers' uh, companies. Um, as you know, as I've told you, I'm no expert on watches. And uh, I was quite surprised by the complications, as you call them, and the fact that some are more, more like games than anything else, really. Well, thank you. But effectively, Frank Muller was the first to produce some uh, fun complications, su such as the uh, Secret House as well, or Master Banker as well, uh, C the Crazy House, which has uh, numbers in uh, different um, spaces, and it's a jumping hour complication. Yes. So it's a beautiful, fascinating, uh, very emotional uh, watch, which uh, people uh, love to discover. And when so you wear it on your wrist, uh, you are the only person to read the correct uh, time because people will look, look at you. I it's think it's a watch for a rabbit, the one in Alice in <laughs> Wonderland. It's not a watch for normal people. Well, it's a very fun, fun watch and uh, it's unique and it's been very, very successful uh, to the brand. And we still uh, deliver uh, lots of different uh, models uh, in the uh, Crazy Hours version. Well, what is the most, I mean, you, you spoke a lot about tourbillon, which, what is the greatest technical achievement that you have managed to create? Well, effectively, Frank uh, was the first watchmaker to put the tourbillon at the front of a wristwatch, because before it was always located at the back of a wristwatch or in the front of a pocket watch. And um, from then on, Frank uh, has developed many different complications, such as the 2x tourbillon, the 3x tourbillon. And today we produce the world's uh, largest tourbillon with the uh, giga tourbillon. And we also produce the world's uh, fastest tourbillon, the uh, thunderbolt tourbillon. It's what, five seconds, right? It does one full rotation in five seconds uh, compared to the 60 seconds uh, to the normal tourbillon. So 12 times faster, which is... Uh, uh, fascinating in the complications. Now you have a very large project just out here which we can't <coughs> quite see from this window, uh, which is that you are increasing enormously the size of your site here. So we're delighted to have just started the construction of our two additional buildings here, um, which will be exactly in the same design as you can see uh, today, but 30% bigger. And um, these two buildings were originally uh, designed by uh, our owner, uh, Mr. Sir Marquez and uh, Mr. Frank Miller. And so you're doubling, well, you're more than doubling the, the, the working <coughs> surface. And you're also repatriating some of your other sites. Correct. So the idea is to be much more efficient uh, on this site. And uh, we will be um, bringing back some production sites uh, here in uh, Watchland. And this is also where you run your day, or which is rather week than the day's event in January, where people come from uh, the whole world really to visit the site and visit the factory. Absolutely. Well, as you can see, the site is absolutely gorgeous. It's a visiting card and uh, we love to invite uh, all our agents from around the world um, in January, once a year. It seems that Franck Miller has suffered less from the slowdown in, in watch sales than, than some other of its competitors. Mm -hmm. But there's still a sensitive slowdown, particularly in Asia, about 20%. What, what are you experiencing? Well, effectively, there's been quite a bit of a downturn recently in the watch business, as we know it today. 
But um, the strength of Frank Miller is the fact that we've only been in China for the last three years. We've only been developing China for three years with our uh, agent there. So we are not as affected as other brands who have been um, integrated in China for many, many years. So you suffer less from the, the, the downturn, or are, the relative downturn? We are suffering much less, of course, and uh, that's why we undertake uh, our project of uh, expansion at this time as well. And you've just opened in Sydney and you were telling me something interesting about the Australian market uh, growing extremely fast. Correct. Well, we recently opened a boutique in uh, Sydney and um, uh, Australia is an up-and-coming market for the watch industry because it was never very much uh, developed in the past. And uh, it's uh, showing uh, incredible growth figures um, for the Asian um, market. And apart from this large project, do you have new models coming out, <coughs> new Well, of new course, range? Uh, of course, our next uh, watch presentation, the world presentation of Autologie, is taking place here in these premises in January, from 17th to 22nd of January. You'll be welcome to come and see the full Thank collection. And uh, we will be launching uh, very exciting new models again. Oh, okay. So it's not the last of... Uh, We've heard of you. No, 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 of course not. Uh, Frank Miller has been uh, very uh, different from the very beginning in presenting world premieres from day one, and we plan to continue in that uh, spirit. But you have also derived activities. You were telling me about organizing weddings in Japan? Uh, effectively, yes. Uh, Japan being one of our most important markets, uh, we are the only watch brand uh, to offer uh, the full organization of uh, someone's wedding. In Japan, they're very keen on big brands, and uh, Frank Miller is a very big brand indeed there. And we will deliver the wedding um, for the bride and groom, including um, all the uh, tableware and all the uh, furniture with the Frank Miller numbers and design logo. Quite an amazing story, really. It's uh, unique to Japan, Japan and for sure. Japan. And each year we do about uh, eight weddings a year. Oh, that's quite a few. I thought it was a very exceptional uh, Well, event. eight uh, out of 52 weeks is, uh, is still room for growth. <laughs> and we, we've been growing every year as well. And, uh, and uh, yeah, Japan is a big market. I think they do, uh, well, we know one company in Japan, they do 35,000 weddings a year. Ah, I see. I'm looking at the brochure and it's, I think it's, it's really quite extraordinary. It is. To have a, a, a wedding organized by a watchmaker. It's a unique uh, talking point for the brand. Now, I understand that, unlike a lot of watchmakers, you make practically all the components. You have your own R&D department. Correct. You have your own design. Correct. Uh, so it's very, a very contained production. Absolutely. Frank Muller is uh, fully vertically integrated and we are very proud to be producing all our components uh, here in Switzerland. And we mount our own uh, watches, of course, all, all here in Switzerland. We've got 14 production sites in Switzerland and we will keep um, in the Jura one or two um, production sites, including the dial maker, our own dial maker. Uh, which is, in, in effect, a very complicated um, uh, production. A lot of people just think it's a stamp on some kind of steel, but it's um, very, very complex, offering uh, like 12 different uh, procedures on one simple um, dial that you saw. So that, that company will stay in the Jura. Okay. Well, Mr. Hida, thank you very much for having us today. Well, it was a great pleasure to have you here. Thank you.